guys, is this Freddy Fazbear? Arr, arr, arr. Yo! Oh, and what's up, every funny Roblox gamer? So in today's video, we will be checking out one of the JoJo games that I made a video on a very long time ago. And I have heard that this game has changed so much from the comments in other Wait, videos. What? And that game's name is Stand Power. Basically, Stand Power is a battleground JoJo game in which you don't have to grind and you can just choose the stand. The cool part of that game is that there are cutscenes in every stand and it has very smooth animation, but yeah, if you can choose the stand already, there is nothing else you can do other than fight, so the game got bored and had players of only around 50 to 100. But now I think the developers have changed everything in the game, which is why today we will be checking for it again. All right, let's get started. As always, we have to find the arrow first, but the map has changed to a new one and I don't know where to go, so I will just run around the map until I find some items. <laughs> And here we go, we've got an arrow. If you wonder why it is so easy to find, well, it's basic. The World Alternate Universe Gaming. Damn, it looks really upgraded from the old one, but I don't really like this color. It could be more intense. Whatever, let's go showcase it. Start off with M1 combo as always. Barrage. Heavy punch. And the first skill is Knife Throw. Next is Revolver. Chop skill. The next move is probably from a universal time, which is the barbed wire. And the next skill is Now I Have a Plan or the gasoline skill. And of course, you can use the revolver to explode the enemy after you use it. Now we have come to the last skill, which is time stop assassination or beatdown skill. Really cool, I know, right? Now let's get another stand, and hopefully it will be cooler than the world's alternate universe. Huh? Why the hell it is stuck in my body? Bruh. And here we go, we've got Killer Queen Gaming. And looks like there are so many skills for a Killer Queen. And the first skill is Bubble Plant. Next is Explosive Bubble. Oh, Killer Queen in this game has a self-healing skill. Well, I haven't seen any JoJo games where Killer Queen has a self-healing skill. If you know any games that have it, please tell me in the comment. And the next skill is Throat Detonation. Bomb. Bubble Protection. Next is Beatdown. Wait, hold on, what the hell is this big sheer heart attack skill? Well, that was unexpected. All right, now the last skill, which is normal sheer heart attack. It's somehow not explode, though. And now I think it's finally time for me to obtain one evolved stand. And that stand is... And of course, the first thing we have to do is grind for the white snake, which I don't even know if it's rare or not, but hopefully it's not. Bruh. Nope. Nope. Five minutes later. Finally, we got it. Now let's showcase it before we go do the quest.
Кукуда. Кукуда. And it's finally time to start the quest. Hopefully it's not that hard. To start the quest, you have to go to Pucci near the beach. And there he is. Dude, this is just first task? later and finally after 30 minutes we got it nice. now let's go showcase it And that's going to be all for the skills. Now let's continue the path to heaven. Bro, like I have to kill another 100 players? This is going to be a long trip. Several months later. Finally, after suffering for almost one hour, hopefully that the maid in heaven will be worth all this pain. And that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much if you watched until now. Also, big shout out to these two guys for supporting me by donating big Robux. I really appreciate it.